Hey there, it's Kelly here. Welcome to your week one video for the month of August, where you can find insight and guidance as well as tips on timing your life with astrology. This week video is actually going to cover the period from August 1st to August 11th. One thing I didn't say in the month ahead video is that August is a month that generally has less aspects happening. So there are fewer astrological events to talk about. So I'm hoping we can go into a little bit more depth with the astrological aspects and events that are happening. So in this first kind of 11 days of the month, we've got uh, four or five different things happening, but we've also got some days where astrologically speaking, the skies are quiet and calm. So first off, uh, first out of the gate, we've got Venus in Leo squaring Uranus in Taurus. This will happen on Friday, August 2nd from six Leo to six Taurus. This is probably the most frustrating or unpredictable aspect of the whole month. So if there's going to be any specific stresses or challenges that you deal with this month, it's most likely to come through today. That said, a Venus-Uranus combination has a lot of excitement and a lot of fresh newness in it as well. And so while there may be some disruptions to previously made plans, it may be that what you'd hoped uh, is not happening. Of course, Venus is a little bit about togetherness and pleasure and romance and love and partnership. And Uranus is about independence and freedom and space and doing things differently or doing things solo. So you can see straight away there's a bit of a clash between Venus's preference to unify and come together and Uranus's preference to stand alone or to go against the grain. And that's actually one of the tips for making the most of the Venus square Uranus aspect is to let your independent individual desires come through. Express the things that you're interested in or that you want, especially when they're different, unconventional, or not the norm. Now, the norm I kind of say in air quotes because norms can be projected onto us by society or by culture or even by our family. And Uranus actually wants us to operate independently of those outward, outward uh, sort of external um, expectations, if you like. So Venus square Uranus does create a day where there is an air of unpredictability and certainly a dash of chaos. So your survival strategies for Venus square Uranus on August the 2nd are to be flexible and to be spontaneous. Don't get too attached to doing things the way you planned or doing things the way you normally do. This is a great day for a spur of the moment decision or change of plans. You might have a change of heart that leads to a little bit of a trickle down effect where you're like, no, let's not go to the same restaurant we always do. Let's go somewhere new or different. Or instead of going out, let's stay in or vice versa. Uh, maybe you normally like a quiet Friday and Friday night and perhaps this time you're going to spend time with friends or family. Basically anything that's outside what you would normally do is great, but Uranus also has an innovative quality. So at work or even in your life, you might be experimenting with new technology or looking at different and alternative ways of managing your everyday experiences. Uh, Venus Uranus to me speaks of things like um, fast paced beauty. So going for a a 10 minute power facial rather than an hour and a half sort of indulgent thing, maybe ordering some beauty products online rather than, you know, going to the store. But it might also be that you're freeing yourself from expectations to do with beauty or grooming and really letting your natural, unique, individual beauty come through. Because natural, unique, individual, that is really what Venus Uranus is about. What are your personal desires that are unique to you that may stand you apart from others, but are the most authentic thing that you can honor. So a lot about authenticity with this very first aspect at the start of the month. There's also um, a little bit of a tension here between bending and being flexible versus being firm and maybe snapping or breaking. Um, and I note that because we've got Venus in a fixed sign Leo and Uranus in a fixed sign Taurus. We know that neither of those signs like to give in, can be a little bit of a stalemate energy, but Uranus is pushing. You know, there is that sort of explosive, we've got to have that outburst, we've got to clear the air quality. So there's a lot of energy in that Venus square Uranus, but don't forget that there's excitement, there's breakthrough, there's unexpected but welcome twists in the story likely as well.